So let's see if we can use load link store conditional to implement a log function. The log function takes a reference to variable log var and then in assembler and then it will do something like this. Put one in R1, load the current value of log var into R2 using a load length and then store R1 into log var using store conditional. So the idea is that we load the current value of the log and then we store a one there. So the question for you is what do we put here to complete this log function in a way that works correctly? That is, if we leave this function, we know that we have acquired the log and we are the only ones that did so. The first option for where the question mark is, is simply to do a branch on equals zero R1 try log. The second choice here is branch on equals zero R2 try log. The third choice is to do branch on not equal zero R2 try log and then branch on equal zero link try log. The fourth option is branch on not equal zero R2 try log and then branch on equal zero R1 try log. And the fifth final option is to do branch on not equal zero on R2 to try log followed by a branch on not equal zero link try log. So select which one of these five is the correct thing to put here.